Hi there folks and welcome to another tutorial by Creeks Media. Uh, today we're just going to be covering a few uh, beginners tips for Mac. Uh, these are for you guys who are possibly migrating from Windows to Mac for the first time or new Mac buyers. Uh, just a few little tips and tricks, just real basics just to, to help you get started. These are little things that, that I have sort of found useful in the past uh, just so you can see kind of what's what and what you need really. Okay, so uh, this is your basic desktop in front of you. In the top right hand corner you have got your hard disk icon here, uh, which will take you straight into your hard drive. Across the top you have your menu bar here. Um, the menu bar I'll go through a little more later on. And the dock at the bottom. So your dock does contain um, sort of all the apps and everything you need. So Starting off with your menu bar at the top, the menu bar is very much like uh, menu bars that you'll find inside Windows. Uh, these are usually attached to the apps in, in Windows or the, the windows you have open. Uh, with your Mac they are completely separate. This menu bar will stay at the top and it will just change and um, evolve I guess depending on which apps you are using. So at the moment the default is the Finder which is your sort of Windows Explorer so just down here in the bottom corner is your Finder. If I was to open my Finder window I don't have a lot in here uh, but everything is, is listed down the side and the Finder menu bar is related to that. So if I wanted to file and open a new Finder window there we are, and everything is linked through together your swap over maybe to mail and you'll see that the menu bar here has changed to mail and then everything along the, the, the menu bar is now relating to mail if I were to click off mail to the side you'll see it just swaps back over to the finder menu, menu. so it will just swap and change so there we are contacts just depending on what app you are working with it so that's a real real handy little tip just to know that your, all your options are going to be sat there at the top sort of regardless of the app that you are working within. Next is the dock so this is your dock at the bottom there are multiple sort of editing options which I will cover in a separate video uh, but a, a basic overview your dock will hold all of your uh, most used apps in there or frequently used apps uh, it does come with a, a predefined set of apps that you would be able to use but um, on there you are able to swap and change so if for example you didn't want photos in there you just drag away from the dock and it will come up with a remove icon and a simply release. That will disappear the uh, app from your dock and you can add any other apps that you do so choose. So if you click into your applications menu and you wanted to maybe add your dictionary you can just drag and drop and it will enter that into the dock at the bottom for you. So completely customizable. Like I say, we'll cover that in a different video. Uh, back to Finder. So Finder, I did briefly cover earlier. It is your uh, the equivalent of your Windows Explorer if you've migrated from Windows. Uh, it does contain all your files, so any downloads, documents, your desktop, your applications folder, and much, much more. You are able to edit these and change the views. So if you were to click in your Finder and go to Preferences, and in your uh, sidebar options along here are a list of different favorites you are able to add in so once you've added them in again they are movable so you can just drag and drop them into any particular order and again if you didn't want some of them if you wanted to remove the iCloud drive that's fine just click and it will remove those for you nice and simple uh, you can however like I said earlier, open a new uh, window, so you can have multiple windows. Uh, a bit like you're into an Explorer, you could open a new tab, and you have two tabs side by side, uh, running different windows. Again, what is what is most comfortable for yourself? Uh, you can change the view, so you can have your tiled view, a list view, um, expandable view. When you click in, it will take you straight through. Uh, and a scrolling view where you can just swipe side to side through your windows and then you have your forward and backward options up in the corner as well. 
you can also search They're in the top right hand corner you can cover your searches if you wanted to find something particular you can just search inside and that will search there for you you've got your uh, settings tab and your sorting tab so you can sort by any particular um, a field that you wanted. Below you have your devices, so any attached devices, any external hard drives, um, remote disks, anything like that whatsoever. Uh, you can open and hide these as well, so if you didn't want them you can hide and show them. And same with your shared devices or your tags and just customize that however you see fit. Um, again sort of the opposite to Windows but the same principle. Uh, in Windows you'd normally have your uh, minimize, maximize and close tabs at the top here uh, in the right hand corner. Actually all that I've done on the Mac is just move them to the left just in this small traffic light system. So the yellow in the middle there with your minus symbol or subtract symbol uh, that will just minimize like before and just minimize straight into your dock there. You have the green, which is your maximize, which would take you straight up to a full screen view. As you notice on your full screen view, there is no menu bar, but if you navigate to the top, your menu bar drops in and also gives you your resizing options so you can reduce that size again. And the X here will close your app down. Um, Swapping over here into contacts just to give you another view of what will happen if you click X and close the app, it will disappear. Finder will always stay open, but you can close your other apps. The other option is you can go into your menu bar at the top, click onto the name of the application, and just scroll down to quit, and that will close your app as well. Another great feature uh, with Mac is the introduction of Spotlight. Uh, this came in a few years back, uh, but really, really helpful. So in the top right hand corner here, you have the magnifying glass. This is your Spotlight magnifying glass. You just click on there and it will bring up your Spotlight search. Uh, with Spotlight, you can search for absolutely everything and anything. Um, I guess uh, I'll try and think of something we can search for. My, my logo, I guess, perhaps. There we are. So, at the moment, logo. There we are. So, top hits there is my logos folder. It does contain videos, Photoshop images, uh, further images down here. And you can scroll down app stores, uh, suggested websites, movies, definitions. So, anything you can think of, pop straight in there. Uh, I don't know. I suppose a local football team for me. There we are. We'll search them there. And it will actually give you their most recent game, uh, the the date, the score line there, and all the details of upcoming scheduled games. So really, really helpful. Not only does it search your Mac, but it also does search online as well for you. Now, uh, again, that is navigating to the micro, uh, magnifying glass in the top corner. What you are able to do with just two simple keystrokes, if you hold your command and spacebar, it will open your spotlight search for you and escape will vanish it away so command and shift and that will open spotlight for you uh, another little um, uh, helpful bit here next to your spotlight is your notifications now you can just click on your notifications and it will give you the information regarding sort of today so you've got today's date day current weather uh, stocks, any event, uh, calendar events that you've got upcoming, um, and then on the bottom here, you've got your small magnify, uh, small cog here for your settings, and that will just open up System Preferences. And what that'll allow you to do is just edit your notification center. So, edit any any apps, anything that you want to be able to um, provide notifications for you. They are all editable in there. You've also got this notifications tab so you can swap across and this will just outline any notifications that you've had so you can delete those away and you can just swap back and forth just click anywhere else on the screen and uh, they will vanish away um, I'm not sure if you're anything like myself I have a tendency to work on a little um, 
bit of a cluttered desktop, sort of swapping and changing a bit like this, sort of between different uh, different applications. And one really handy thing is uh, Mission Control. Mission Control is just out at the bottom here. Uh, there is an app here that you can have out, can have it sat on your dock. What Mission Control will allow you to do if you click on it. We are, and it just spreads all the open applications that you have. So rather than sort of trying to decipher where it is and which layer it is and what it's sat beneath, you can just go to your Mission Control tab and it will open them straight up. And there you are. There is also a keyboard shortcut for this. This is F3. So if you press your F3 button on your Mac keyboard, it will open Mission Control. So that's it for today guys, so just a quick overview of just a few basic features and tips within Mac, uh, some real sort of uh, beginner's guide. If there's anything else that I've not covered that, that you think would be handy or you're not quite sure how to do, please feel free to comment below and I'll uh, take a look and get a video created for you to help you with that. Uh, but as always, please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Thank you very much.